shocked. You know, I've never, I had honestly never heard of a situation where a guy who was a gold glove caliber uh, player at his position, you know, turning over to a new position. You know, at the end of the day, I am a team player, and you know, that's what I got to do. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. Jerry DePoto and the Mariners made a big move on Thursday, acquiring D. Gordon and $1 million in international slot money from the Marlins in exchange for top pitching prospect Nick Neidert and two other minor leaguers. The deal catapulted Seattle into the top spot in terms of how much international bonus money they can offer Japanese two-way star Shohei Otani. Meanwhile, new Mariner D. Gordon will bring his elite speed to Seattle, and according to Jerry DePoto, he'll move from second base to center field. The M's general manager explains the impact D. Gordon brings to their team. Two-time All-Star. He is the, the National League batting champ just two years ago and has been a collective 304 hitter for the Marlins over the course of the well, Marlins and Dodgers over the course of the last four seasons. Has led the National League in stolen bases for three of the last four years and really brings an electric element to our team. Looking to fill one of their biggest holes, the Cubs signed starter Tyler Chatwood to a three-year $38 million contract. Despite a 4.69 ERA in 2017, MLB Network's John Smoltz explains why the Cubs have high hopes for the 28-year-old. Getting out of Colorado, we saw the numbers earlier. Those numbers don't lie at home. It's tough to have that kind of spin and have that kind of break. He's had good success in Chicago. Pitcher Mike Byers has reportedly agreed to a one-year, $6 million contract with the Detroit Tigers. Byers finished 8-10 with the Astros last season, notching a 5.22 ERA. According to reports, the Orioles have been receiving calls about third baseman Manny Machado. While the Orioles are highly unlikely to explore trading the star third baseman, MLB Network analyst Bill Ripken explains why a deal might make sense. You have to look internally and say, are we as good as the Yankees? I don't think the answer is yes. Are we as good as the Red Sox? I don't think the answer is yes. And last year, you weren't as good as the Toronto Blue Jays or the Tampa Bay Rays because you finished underneath them with all those. So if you're looking at the idea of the phone ringing and somebody's going to ask, ask high because I think you can get a pretty good haul back but I think he has to be on the table. Orioles pitcher Kevin Gossman took to Twitter on Thursday afternoon to announce he's changed his number to 34 to honor the late Roy Halladay. MLB.com Orioles reporter Brittany Giroli discusses the motivation behind the move. Kevin Gossman is a guy who grew up about 30 minutes uh, away from Denver, which is where Roy Halladay is from. He said having a guy like that, he definitely kind of put Colorado baseball on the map. He said that it's a, really a, a small fraternity. Less than 100 players reach the major leagues from Colorado high school. And he feels like in his lifetime, over the past few years, people are paying more attention to, taking more seriously these younger Colorado players. And he feels like a guy like Halliday is a big reason for that. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.